Here comes some fun by the Beatles, guys. I just procrastinated the most I've ever procrastinated in my entire life. Just started reading Wikipedia articles on random um, punk bands for no reason. Minor threat. People of the world, friends and relatives, this first part is going to suck. It's going to be so tedious, but it's oh, so rewarding. The rest of it gets much simpler. Standard tuning, but you do need a capo on the seventh fret. If you don't have a capo, you can play it down here with the exact same fingering. It's just gonna sound lower. We're gonna do it with the capo on seven to get that classic Beatles sound, guys. You're gonna need to start by getting your hand in the D chord shape. That means middle finger, second fret on the bottom string, ring finger, third fret, second string from the bottom, pointer finger, second fret, third string from the bottom. You might as well, if you can, get your thumb up here muting the top string because we don't want to hear the top string right now. Guys, the first thing you're going to do is rest for one beat. That means that when you start the song, you just have to go and not do anything for one beat. One, two, three, four, nothing. Then on beat two, you're going to strum down on the D chord. Great! Then immediately after that, strum up on the second string from the bottom. Then get rid of your middle finger, pull it right off of that bottom string, pluck down on the bottom string, then put your middle finger back onto the second fret and pluck up. So that goes a little something like this. One, two, three, four, rest. Oh, shoot. All that build up for nothing. One, two, three, four, rest. Oh, now I said to aim for those specific strings, but throughout this whole thing, we want to keep it loosey goosey over here with the picking hand. So even though I'm telling you to pluck individual strings, if you hit a couple strings, it actually kind of sounds Better. We can have it be kind of sloppy. So you could be like very precise or you could be a little more like, oh, see that second one sounded a little better. If you watch George Harrison play the song live, just looks like he's going like this the entire time. It's kind of crazy. It's like, how are you hitting all those notes if you're just going like this? But you know what? He's very famous. He was one of the cast members of Cheers for crying out loud. Guys, what I need you... Oh, that's Woody Harrelson. After those first few notes we played, we're going to jump back up to the third string from the top, play down on that note, then strum up on the second string from the bottom, then go back to the third string from the top and play down up. So that little part there was... So now from the beginning, we've got three for rest. Got it? Let's do it together. One, two, nice and slow and rest. So good, you guys. Then you're going to play down on the full D chord again. Then get rid of your middle finger again and strum up on like the bottom two strings. Then play down on the third string from the top again. So that part right there was. Okay, do that with me. One, two, here we go. All right. All right, let's add a couple more notes then we'll go back to the beginning again. So we just went down, up, third string from the top, then strum up on the second string from the bottom, then play down, third string from the top, and then one more note. You're gonna get all of these fingers out of there. Just let go and play up on the second string from the bottom. So here's what we have from the beginning, painfully slow. Three, four, rest. Strum up, open up. Strum up, down, up, down, open. It's, it's, it's a lot to keep track of, but I think you're doing a bang up job. Top notch, top shelf, high level work here, guys. One more time, friends, rest. Ooh, that was weird. 
Okay, we did it. At this point, we've been holding this like D chord shape for all of that. Now we're gonna switch to a vague sort of G chord situation. With your, which finger do I use? Uh, you can use ring finger or middle finger. I use middle finger. Play third fret on the top string and see if you can, in addition to playing third fret on that top string, see if you can mute the second string from the top with the pad of your middle finger. You're gonna strum down on that top string. Then, with your ring finger, play three on the second to bottom string, strum up on that string. So it was down on the top, up on the second from the bottom, then go down on the top string again, then play up on the bottom string, which is open. You can get your ring finger out of the way if you want. I don't care, you can keep it there. So we're going. Great, then go back up to the top string. Then go back to the second string from the bottom with your ring finger on three. Then go back up to the top. Then get rid of your ring finger and play up on the second string from the bottom. So that little part went like this. Starting from where we play three on the top string, it goes down, uh, down, uh, down, up, down, open. Do that one more time, guys. I know it's tricky. Watch my fingers, watch my eyes. Keep an eye on my eyes the entire time. Three, four. Remember what I said about being sloppy? Even though I'm being pretty careful with, with which strings I play, the, all the strings will sound fine. You can even, look at this, look. It's not gonna sound great, but even if I played all the strings, watch this. That was pretty bad. I recommend you don't do that. Okay, that my that I kind of did not make my point very well just then. Let's play it from the beginning. Okay, 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 guys. Who is that? Oh, that's Dennis Miller. No one knows who Dennis Miller is. I mean, lots of people do. Millions of people. None of you know who Dennis Miller is. If you know who Dennis Miller is, say in the comments. I know Dennis Miller. He was a person. Is he's alive? Come on, don't say that people are dead when they're alive. It's offensive. Is that offensive? I don't. I can I tell you something? I live in a town, it's like a full on town with houses and people. Um, I live pretty close to a park. There's like a playground, there's some trees, there's a hill. It's a park. Do you understand what a park is? Recently. There are there have started being bears in this park. And it's not like a it's not a giant park. It's not a national park. I don't live by the Sequoia National Park, you guys. It's like a little it's like a little park where you go and you have a birthday party, a park. There are bears there. Why? When why does it have to do with this? From the beginning. One, two, three, four, rest. <laughs> How we doing, guys? It's uh, you're doing great. Then at this point, we just played down on no, 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 no. That's not true. We just played up on the second string from the bottom open. As you're playing up on that second string from the bottom open, you can go ahead and release the third fret with your middle finger, and we're gonna gonna get an A7 chord ready, guys. A7 chord is nothing on the top string. Second string from the top is open. Middle finger plays two on the third string from the top. Ring finger plays two on the second string from the bottom. You're gonna go like this. On this A7 chord, you're gonna strum down. Then get rid of your ring finger, strum up. Put your ring finger back on two, strum down. Then with your pinky, play three on the second to bottom string, strum up. Then you're gonna play down on the second string from the top up on the bottom string open, then down on the second string from the top again. So that was starting from the A7, we go down, lift, down, three, down, up on the bottom, down on the second string from the top. Whew, okay, I'm gonna do it without talking so it's a little smoother. Three, four. Okay, let's do that one time together. Three, four. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, now let's do it 
from the beginning all the way through that. We're halfway through the introduction, but I need to tell you, the introduction repeats, the second half of it is mostly just a repetitionism of what we just did. I, I, one of my dogs is right here, and it's my grumpy dog, and she is so miserable. She's just staring at me. Dobby, I love you, but you need to chill out a little bit, okay? It's okay, it's just guitar. You're in a comfy bed, it's gonna be fine. One, two, from the top, and rest. I think that, that was spectacular. Are you ready to learn the second half of the intro? Of course you are. Starts off exactly the same as the first half, except for there's a something that's different, which is, remember that rest that I keep making a big deal of, where I go three, four, rest. Instead of resting, you're gonna play the third string from the top open. So that just takes the place of the rest, okay? Get your D chord ready. So it starts off exactly the same, except for that, except for that one note. So we go note, strum, all this is exactly the same. All of that first part of it was exactly the same. All of the D stuff, exactly the same. I don't need to explain it again. Even if I wanted to, I wouldn't be allowed to. We go back to our G chord, guys, but it's gonna be a little bit different this time. So you've got your ring middle, or whatever finger you want, I don't care. Play it third fret on the top string with one of your fingers, just not your pointer finger. Strum down on the top string. Then with your pointer finger, play two on the bottom string, strum up. Then play down on the top string. Then get rid of your pointer finger, strum up on the bottom string. Then you go back to the top string. Then with your ring finger, play three on the second string from the bottom. Then play down on the top string again. So that was like this, it was. Final thing, switch back to the A7 and strum up on the A7 chord. Now. You might be thinking, Stuart, you're saying to aim for all these specific strings, but I don't even know how you're doing that. How are you finding those strings so quickly? Well, here's the thing. You're go Do you hear that? This is Dobby trying to get out. It's like, here's the thing. Do you see her? Look, do you, do you see her? That's her, you see her right there. Oh, she got camera shy. So here's the thing. Her setup here is really, I am, I, this, the setup in here is very nice. And it's, I would like to say it's smoky outside. And what she wants, look, I know you didn't ask, but uh, but you sort of asked. You made it clear that you wanted me to tell you. It's smoky outside today. There's a fire somewhere nearby. The air is very smoky. So not only do I want to keep the windows and doors shut so that I uh, don't breathe in the smoke, but also I don't want my dog hanging out on the porch, breathing in all that smoke. It's bad for the the lungs of the dog, okay? It's true. Look, I know that dogs eat crappy food all the time and stuff, but but I still don't want them breathing in the smoke. She wants to go sit on the porch. That's great. I want to sit on the porch, but I'm not doing it. Why? Because I have to make this video for you because you were like, well, make videos for me. And I was like, sure, I want to. That sounds like fun. Life is so unfair. That distraction actually worked out really well because I brought up that thing about how do you find the individual strings with the pick so quickly and I acted like I had some great solution, but the truth is I, I brought it up and I didn't really have anything all that useful to say about it. So now oh, we're distracted and we forgot all about it. Oh, and I don't even need to mention anything. Let's play the whole intro all the way through. One, two, three, four, rest. The truth is, 
You look, guys, I, what do you want me to say? You just aim as carefully as you can. You go very slowly and you just have to be okay with it being really, really, really sloppy for a while. It's just gonna gradually get better. At first, you're gonna be hitting all kinds of strings and you'll get better at better at homing in on the exact ones you want, okay? So that's the introduction. At this point, we go to the chorus of the song, guys. But here's where I'm gonna, I kinda, I'm gonna, I'm kind of going to be a little bit disingenuous, dishonest, deceitful, um, immoral, unethical, and evil. What's going to happen here is we just learned the intro note for note. In the verse and the chorus to this song, he keeps doing basically that same thing, but he plays a few of those little nuancy notes a little bit different so they line up with his singing a little more. We, I, look. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. You don't want to do it. It's going to take forever. So here's what I recommend. For the intro, try to play exactly what we just did. Try to get it perfect. Then for the chorus and the verse, I'm going to show you just the regular kind of strumming we can do. And then you can sing along. It's going to be great. You're barely even going to tell it's not the totally 100% authentic guitar part. And I'm still going to show you all the cool like... We're gonna do all that. We're just gonna we're just gonna take it easy for the singing parts of the song. Okay, guys. First verse, chorus. I mean, after the intro, they go to the chorus. You need to go to the D chord. We already know the D chord. You're just gonna strum down, down, up, up, down, up. Totally regular strumming. Just down, down, up, up, down, up. Then you just do that again. So you do it twice in a row. Then we go to a G. Whichever version of G you like. I like this one where we do three on top, two on the second string from the top three on the bottom two strings like that guys we're gonna go down down up up down up then we're gonna go to an e7 chord guys e7 is middle finger second fret second string from the top pointer finger first fret on the third string from the bottom all right dobby really wants to go outside what do you think guys leave your answer in the comments should i let her sit out in the smoke and destroy her lungs and destroy her future or should i make her stay inside to be healthy i've done like okay I take her on walks, okay? And no, I don't put a gas mask on her. I'm not crazy. I'm just, I just care about my dogs, okay? It wouldn't be crazy. I mean, maybe I should, okay. I'm gonna look on Amazon for dog gas masks. After the E7 chord with that same down, down, up, up, down, up strumming, we're gonna go back to the D chord. We're gonna go down, down, up, up, down, up. Then we do this cool thing. But first, let's play just the strumming all by itself, starting with the D. One, two, three, four. Again, down, down, up, up, down, then G, down, up, then E7, back to D. All right, now we'll learn it. So actually, on that final D, we're just going to go down, down, up, up, down, then. You need to put your ring finger on the second fret of the third string from the bottom. Play that note, play that string. Slide up to four. Then with your middle finger, play three on the second string from the bottom, and then play the bottom string open. So that first little part was. Great. Get rid of your ring finger and put your pointer finger on the second fret of the third string from the bottom. Just play third from the bottom, second from the bottom, bottom like this. Then pull your pointer finger off and play those same three strings. Then put your pointer finger back and play those strings again. So here's what just happened. Great job. Then play the second string from the bottom by itself. Then with your pointer finger, play the second fret on the second string from the bottom. Then with ring finger, play four on the third string from the bottom. And then with pointer finger, play second fret on the third string from the bottom. So that last part was... I do not recall if they just pluck each note or if they do pull-offs. What do I do? I, okay, here's what I do, so it's probably right, because I do things right, because I'm kind of that kind of guy. I have my middle, I do a pull off from my middle finger to my pointer finger on the second string like that. So I just hold my pointer finger down, play the third fret, and then pull my middle finger off and do this little flick as I do it. But then for the next two notes, I just pluck four and I pluck two. 
So that's the chorus to the song Here Comes Some Fun by the Beatles. Guys, let's play it, the chorus all the way through nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. Then the G chord, down, down, up. Then E7, oh yeah. Back to D, down, down, up, up, down. Now, there's a very good chance that some of you fine folks out there will get very good at doing the strumming fast, but you won't quite be able to play this part fast yet. What I recommend you do, figure out how fast you can comfortably play this part. And then play the chords at that same tempo. So that you might end up going really slow on the chords. But then when you get to this part, you'll be able to do it. And then speed everything up together. A practice tip from Stuart, a patented Stuart Alexander Lehman Brown practice tip on the guitar. Time for some electric lights. All right, that was the chorus. Then immediately after that, we go to the verse. The verse, very similar to the chorus. We're gonna start on the D chord. We go down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Then you go to G, down, down, up, up, down, up. Then we're gonna go to an A7 chord, guys. We did it earlier. Top string is muted by your thumb. Second string from the top is open. Then second fret, open, second fret, open. You're gonna play down, down, up, up, down, up. Great, then we go back to the D twice. Back to G, and then to the A7. So I'm not sure if you noticed, but the verse was just the same thing twice in a row, guys. Let's play the whole verse all the way through. One, two, three, four. Little darling, it's been a long and lonely and blinster. Yeah, okay. Little bunky, oh, it's been a while since you've been there. Then we go to chorus number two, guys. Chorus number two is exactly the same as chorus number one. Do you remember it? We go, here comes the sun, here comes the sun, it's all right. But watch this. After we play this thing, we're gonna go to the D chord again and go down, down, up, up, down. So here's what that was. We did the D chord, down, down, up, up, down. Go back to the A7 and do the same little A7 thing we did in the intro. You strum down, get rid of your ring finger, strum up, put your ring finger back, strum down, put your pinky on the third fret, strum up, then get, uh, then strum down. Oh, I don't know. Okay, and we're gonna, add, there's some editing here. Edit it, edit it, Stuart. Stuart, edit this part. Put your pinky down and strum up, then get rid of your pinky and strum up one more time, guys. Let's play that chorus all the way through. Chorus number two, here we go. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. Switch to G, then the E7, back to D. Down, down, up, up, down. Down, down, up, up, down, then. Oh, so nice. You're never gonna believe what happens after that. We go back to the verse and we do the verse exactly the same as we did before. What happens after that though is, is shameful and offensive. We go to the chorus number three, which is the same as the other choruses, guys. Oh, that's only kind of true. It's not actually, okay. I lost, did you notice that I just like started? It happens every time around this time of the video. I just like, I just, it's like I skipped my nap time or something. I don't have a nap time. I have a, I go to bed is what it's called. I skipped my bedtime. What does that mean? It's, it doesn't mean anything. I'm just, the third chorus goes like this. We have the D chord. We go down, down, up, again. Down, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, up. Up, down, up, E7, totally normal. Then D, down, up, up, down. 
totally the same. All this is exactly the same. I messed up, but that's just because I was talking. You go back to the D, you go down, down, up, up, down, and then you go to the A7, but on the A7, we just strum down, down. Just two strums down, and then we get into the bridge, guys. The bridge! Let's learn it, okay? Play the second string from the top open. Then with your ring finger, play four on the second string from the top. Then with your pointer, let's see. Yeah, with your pointer finger, play two on the third string from the top. Then with your ring finger, play three on the third string from the top. With your middle finger, play two on the third string from the bottom. And with your pointer finger, play one on the second string from the bottom. So that was like this. Notice I'm getting these three fingers all lined up. I'm keeping them there. This is called an F chord, guys. If you weren't familiar, this is the classic F chord shape. I'm going F chord. Great. I'm just going bing bong bow. Then take these two strings. Point the fingers. Take these two fingers. Your ring finger and your middle finger. Move them up a string like that. You're going to play second string from the top, then third string from the top, then third string from the bottom. So that was... Great! At this point in time, what you're going to do is you're going to get rid of your ring finger. You're going to move your middle finger up to the second string from the top on the second fret. You're going to play... So I'm just playing those same three strings again. Second from the top, third from the top, third from the bottom. Then put your ring finger on the third fret of the top string and play the top three strings. I think that was right. Yes, 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 yes. Then you're going to get the D chord ready and strum down, up, up, down, up. So that was like this, guys. Then go to the A7 chord and just strum down, down, and then repeat the whole thing again. Let's play the whole bridge all the way through. One, two, I'm gonna count to three and then we're gonna start. It just feels, it just makes sense. I'm gonna count to three and then we're gonna start. One, two, three. Down, up, up, down, up. Start over! Oh, 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 oh! Down, up, up, down, up, A7! Oh! That's the bridge to the song. What? That was like stupid. That's like something like a two year old does for attention. I'm mean, eating paper. Guys, you play that thing not once, not twice, but six times in a row. I'm very impressed with how quickly I was able to get six on my fingers. Usually I struggle with that quite a bit. After that, we have this little build up thing. I just scraped my pick against some cardboard and it made a very hideous cardboard sound and I felt it vibrate all the way up my arm. Ooh, I need a moment to decompress from that. The cardboard heebie-jeebies I just got. Then we have this little build-up thing at the end of the bridge. It goes a little something like this. Here's how you do that. Get your A7 chord all ready to go. You're gonna strum down, down, down pretty slowly. Then get rid of your ring finger, strum up, Put your ring finger back, strum down. Put your pinky on three of the second string from the bottom, strum up. You're used to that kind of movement by this point in the song. So that was down, 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 up, down, up. Then you strum down, down. Get rid of your pinky, strum up. Put your pinky back, strum down. Then strum up without your pinky, but really try to hit the bottom string hard. So that was like down, 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 uh, 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 down, down. Down, uh, uh, uh. Then down, down, down. Then you're gonna strum up, down, and then put your pinky on three of the bottom string. And then strum up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. That whole thing goes like this. Down, 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 up, down, third fret. 
down, down, up, down, bottom string. Down, down, up, down, three. Down, up, down, up, down, up, and then we go right back to the verse. You remember the verse? It goes like this. Little darling, oh, it's been a monkey, chunky winter. Oh, okay, we play the verse all the way through. Then we go back to the chorus. We play the chorus once through, totally normal. After we play the chorus through, once totally normal, we play through it once again, totally normal, which means we play through it two times, totally normal. At the end of the second time, we just did our little lick thing. Our little, this is called the lick thing. I'm calling a lick is just like a, a melodic short little guitar thing. So we did our little. Then you're gonna strum on the D, you're gonna strum down, down, up, up, down. Then you're gonna do the lick thing again. So we did the lick thing twice, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna play the little, remember the thing we did in the bridge? We're gonna do most of that one more time. We're gonna skip the first three notes. We're not gonna play those. We're gonna start on our F chord, our little staircase thing there, and we're gonna go. And strum a nice D chord at the end. So that was confusing. I didn't really explain it. I almost just ate another piece of paper. Let's play the whole last chorus section all the way through. So we're gonna play the chorus, we're gonna repeat the chorus, we're gonna do our little lick twice, then we're gonna do our bridge thing, and then it's over. One, two, three, four. Here comes the sun. Do do do. Here comes the really well. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four. Here comes some fun. Do -do -do. Here comes the sun and I'm like, it's okay. Here comes the sun like a monkey. tricked you and that's how you play it oh look at this her majesty's a pretty nice girl but she hasn't have a lot to say 